Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. How do you identify a rim cylinder and what is a rim cylinder? We have some examples of rim cylinders here and this is a rim cylinder right here and this is one right here. A rim cylinder goes on a rim lock and an example of a rim lock would be this one here where the lock is fitted on the back of the door. So from the front you see the cylinder come through the door and it's fitted on the back of the door. That's a rim lock. A few more examples of rim locks would be here's another one, a Wico, and here's another one just a, like a night latch type setup. The way these cylinders work is they come, they come through the door with a towel piece and they operate the lock. So you would drill your 32mm hole, put it through the door, this would uh, then be screwed up and this would then start connecting and working to the lock. So we want to talk about different configurations, how you can um, identify what you need. We sell replacement lock cylinders and we sell replacement lock rim lock cylinders. They generally come in two uh, quite standard sizes. The first one is the 5 pin which is shown here and the next one is the 6 pin which is shown here. They both look the same from the front so whether or not you need a 5 pin or a 6 pin can be determined by uh, what key system you're using or by the thickness of the door. Now in this example right here this is a 35 or 38 mil door and that can take either of these uh, 6 pin or 5 pin. If you've got a 35 mil door or smaller then I would worry about door thickness and I would say go for the 5 pin. 6 pin provides a little bit more security because it has that 6 pin. I'm saying that too if you're trying to make things compatible you can take a 6 pin cylinder and convert it into a 5 pin cylinder by dropping the last pin and the last driver pin and spring. So we can actually key alike things by doing that. If you've got an order and you, you're ordering, let's say, uh, five of this cylinder and one of this lock and you want them all keyed alike, we can do that too. That's called keying alike, where you've got multiple locks working on the same key. If you would like uh, multiple cylinders, but you want them all to be different, we can do that too. That's called key to differ. That's the way the locks come standard most of the time. Okay, so now let's look at a few other things. We also do sell um, this type of rim cylinder suited for the Gainsborough TE2 key. And this is the TE2 key. So this is what we call TE2 or the Gainsborough key. And you can identify it because it has a little square taken out of the bottom there. Most, a lot of the times you can't identify it from the head of the shape of the key because you can have multiple keys with all the same head on them. See, and you couldn't tell what, what key blade they are, what the brooch is, what the shape of that blade is. But when you look at them all side, to, side together, they're all different. I know it's very hard to see there, but the shapes are different. So the most common, most common ones for rim cylinders are uh, your LW4, which is just your standard one, your slightly longer one, which is your LW5. So that's your 6-pin, that's your 5-pin, and then you've got your TE2 Gainsborough. So if you've got Gainsborough locks around your house and you'd like to order um, them all sort of matched, new cylinders and for them to be matched on this Gainsborough key, we can do that as well. If you want them on either of these two keys, we can do that as well. They come fairly standard on these two keys. If you would like a little bit more security in your lock, we can actually sell you rim cylinders that are on this high security uh, multi-lock interactive key, or we can sell you rim cylinders which are on this uh, security uh, security key. So you have control against key duplication, and also it makes it a little bit harder for key manipulation. So very good in commercial situations or people that like a little bit more security. Now getting back to it. Um, rim lock cylinders can come in a variety of different um, sort of shapes. Here's one here, this is an abloy and the actual, on the back of it, the tail comes out straight, the screws are on the left and right. This is a different configuration to the way this is. The screws are left and right, but the tail is offset and it comes out straight, as where this one comes out vertical. So there is a bit of a difference there. When you are using a rim cylinder, most of the time it comes through this uh, escutcheon here, or this rose, and sits on the door like that. So if you were to sort of measure it from there backwards, you could see on how much room you would need for that. For this one here, I'd be saying, 25 mil is where the bottom here, so 30 mil would be enough to actually allow you to use that. In this scenario here, the six pin, we put that through the, the front rows, and 30, 35 mil would be probably the, the smallest door you could sort of mount that on. So you can get away with mounting, um, you know, a six pin in a fairly thin, thin door. Okay, some of the other things to mention. Um, if you need parts, like these parts here, or the screws, or the extended tail pieces, we also sell them on our lock shop as well, under key cylinder accessories. Often if you've got a really large door, you might need longer screws, or you might need a longer tail piece to, to get everything to work. Um, as far as the rest of it, um, to identify a rim cylinder, um, this, is, this is what it looks like. It goes through the door, and that's what it makes up a rim cylinder. The, I'll go over it once more. The biggest uh, key, uh, brooches that we use or, or types is the Lockwood key. The Lockwood key in 5 pin or 6 pin. We now have the TE2 which has this little uh, knock, well a little cut out at the front 
we now have them and they're available too so you can have all different keying combinations for further information please email and thanks for watching